Parents are concerned tonight after they say a teen suffered brain trauma after a fight at Holt High School. It is our top story tonight at 6. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sherry Jones. And I'm Lauren Thompson. A recent fight at Holt High School sent a student to the hospital. Darylin Horn is here for you now. And Darylin, both school officials and parents are weighing in. What are they saying tonight? Yes, things got physical between a 15-year-old boy and another student. And it's been shared online several times. Now the Ingham County Sheriff's Office says the incident is under investigation and the community wants to know what else is being done. Nobody did anything. There's a video, I saw it, everybody watched, filmed. Nobody said, hey, this is not a good idea, leave him alone. This video moments before a 15-year-old student was slammed to the ground at Holt High School just last week. According to a GoFundMe page posted by friends and family, the teen suffered brain trauma and needed surgery for a fractured skull. Parents at Holt High say this is unacceptable. I hope they expel the other child and that the parents uh, get him into much more trouble because that's a really serious thing to do. I understand they're kids, but they're old enough to know better. And this isn't the first time Holt High has had to handle a serious school fight. Just a few months ago, lunch staff and students were filmed hitting each other. No one was hospitalized in that case, but parents like Holly Benson say they're working to make changes. I actually went to the school board meeting with a lot of my other parents and friends, and parents are getting to the point where they're ready to get something <laughs> going here. <laughs> Superintendent issued a statement that reads, safety and security of the students is our number one concern and that the incident is being investigated and reviewed in light of the school district's behavior and discipline policies. Benson hopes to rally more parents to call for change. You see something like that and you think, my God, if he doesn't defend himself, he could be in the hospital next. And so it puts us as parents in a really hard situation because we don't know if we should tell them, you know, <laughs> to fight back or what at this point. Yes, as far as the teen's condition, a family member tells me he was recently discharged from the hospital and other parents say they want to work with the administration to make some changes in the district. 